Hey, welcome back to Historic Headstones of Norfolk. We are here in the beautiful forest lawn, and we're going to be talking about an Australian hero. He gave his life to save others. Okay, this monument is a cenotaph because he's not buried here because due to his heroic efforts, his body was never recovered. So for those efforts, he's got a little triangle here in forest lawn to celebrate the life that he saved. He was, uh, we're going to be talking about Ellen. Uh, Hipple. He was an Australian merchant seaman serving aboard the British steamer Fort Ellis. The steamer was in Norfolk waiting a shipment of coal. Early in the morning of Sunday, May 16, 1948, Hipple and two other shipmates from the ship were returning to the ship via a launch after spending the day Saturday visiting Norfolk. You know what sailors do, drink, get tattoos, go shopping, things like that. That's what Norfolk was known for back then. As the Liberty launch is returning to the ship shortly after midnight, a cabin cruiser owned by the Raymond Gunter caught fire. All seven aboard were forced to abandon the ship and were struggling to stay afloat. As the launch approached the four men and three women, Hippel took off his jacket, jumped overboard, and swam to seven that were in the water. He was able to save two of the women, bringing them back to the launch, and then he went back out. One of the women, Miss William Wallace, began to panic because she could not swim. According to Miss George Ferris, another of the passengers in the water, Miss Wallace saw that she had a life preserver and began to struggle with her until Miss Ferris lost consciousness. Heppel is credited with separating the two women, giving the life preserver to Miss Wallace while he brought Miss Ferris back to the safety of the launch. When he did that, he headed back towards Miss Wallace to save her as well. But she was in really no danger because she had a flotation device. She would have been fine, but he wanted to still bring her back to the launch. On his way to get her, that was the last time he was seen. After all seven of the stranded passengers from the pleasure craft were rescued by the launch, the boat operator, Dennis A. Perry, made a search of the area for Heppel before returning to Swells Point. The Coast Guard continued to search for him throughout the day, but his body was never found. So for his bravery, the city gave him this little triangle lot here um, and they gave him this beautiful stone. He got the American flag, the Australian flag, his name. Australian seaman who was heroically gave his life to save the lives of two Norfolk women from drowning in Hampton Roads on Sunday, May 16, 1948. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. This monument was erected on October 30th, 1948 by the grateful people of Norfolk through the efforts of the uh, Civetan Club of Norfolk. So it's beautiful and this guy's a hero. Uh, unfortunately he lost his life, but these are stories I love hearing. And it's very important that we made a video of him to let you guys know. So next time you come to Forest Lawn, drop by. It's not far from the front gate. Just go in through the main gate, go straight, and you'll see this right on your right. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.